Hello, welcome to Kaiju Tutorials. Today we are going to continue the Simple Inventory series. Today we are going to develop the Microsoft SQL database, which will form as a database for the Simple Inventory system. It's going to be a simple database that will store the brand, the category, the location, as well as the user who adds the adds the items as well as items following today's tutorial we're going to move into actually developing the api and connecting the database to that api so join me in this series please like and subscribe and let's get started with developing the database thank you okay let's get started so first open microsoft sql server you, management studio you could also use Azure in particular Azure data studio to create the SQL via um, Mac or um, Linux if you don't have the full studio okay so let's get started by writing the statement um, to create the database so you would write um, as you can see there create database and the name of the database then run hit the run command which will then generate the database now I'm writing the a use statement to tell the SQL um, database that we are using this particular context so every query that we write will affect simple inventory database so that's the reason for that next um, we're going to outline I like to put little comments so we actually know exactly what we're going to be doing so we're going to be creating tables for category location brand user and items so that the two dash dashes um, for those who are not aware is to create comments okay so to create a table we would use the create table command um, and the name of the table Please be aware that certain keywords, if certain words are keywords, which won't be permitted to create um, for creating a new table. So we have to be aware of that. So the first thing that I usually do, as you see there, is create a um, primary key. I usually use a unique identifier. You could also use an int um, auto incre increment to create it but I like to use the unique identifier because it allows me to on the back end actually manipulate um, the create generate the ID before I store it inside of a database so I can do a little bit more manipulation instead of waiting until a record is stored and automatically um, generate uh, IDs automatically generated so it's just personal preference either way works So now we are creating the location table, um, same as before using the unique identifier and stating that is a primary key, um, the location name. So location name could be about 30 um, characters, but a rule of thumb is to whatever you think that you'll need in terms of the size, double it. I use the is deleted um, table um, column um, because you're a developer is not the thing about it is for database integrity we are not supposed to actually delete data out of a database so what I tend to do is flag that data as is deleted so that it doesn't show up but it's there for auditing purposes now we're creating the brand table um, which has a brand ID brand name as well as the is deleted so those tables are simple tables um, that we're going to need in order to um, group the items. Next, we're creating the user. So this is for the login user to, to identify who actually created the items and also that way for the web mobile and the mobile interfaces, um, we'll have the ability to log into the system and be able to retrieve all the items 
related to that particular person so that's the reason why we are doing that so we have the user ID the first name last name email address as well as a password we're going to use text as for the password the reason why we're going to use text as a password is um, to data type to store the password is because we're going to encrypt it and encryption um, amount length is it varies so um, for simplicity we use text the reason as stated earlier the reason um, we weren't able to create the user table was because user is actually a keyword as I stated earlier we have to be mindful of that sometimes if we try to create a table with a unique with a keyword um, using a word that is actually a keyword it won't permit us to do so so that's the reason we had to change it from user table user to user profile last table and most important table that we're creating is the item table so that is where we're going to store the image of the item as well as the um, name the barcode etc and all the other tables will link into that particular table in such a way that what's what will happen so the tables that we had before the purpose of those tables is um, as I said to categorize things so what will happen is that a category may have multiple items um, a location may have multiple items a brand may have multiple items and that's how we are doing it we could have used one table um, to store the category name and so on or oh, however um, for normalization of database we separate it and make it um, give it its own table so that we don't have to duplicate names so for example instead of instead of items you're seeing multiple items saying that they are um, electronics category electronics category repeatedly in the table instead we'll have one one category inside of category table with a reference id and so every item that has that name um, that is a electronics what will happen is that it will share that id and so if for example um, as you may have seen um, when i was when I'm typing, I had make made some mistakes in terms of errors. Um, if, for example, the category name was spelled wrong, I could easily change it one place inside of a category table, and it changes everywhere. So it's always good to normalize your database. Um, it's also it's a just a personal preference why I decided to put the item um, name um, below the IDs. Um, so it's a bit easier to read um, we're going to use um, decimal instead of double and we're going to set the, the amount to about 10 and two decimal places um, those personal preferences preference um, to store the price of that um, product Um, the item image URL we could estimate the amount that's needed but um, because it can vary I decided to make it text text is a bit large though large though so we have to be aware of that that um, we're we shouldn't by default use um, text because text is very large and it's not efficient as possible for barcode I use 24 typically a barcode is 12 characters however as I said if the thing is 12 then we'll double it to be safe okay so we have now created the final table so what I'm going to do now is show demonstrate how to actually create a database diagram so that we can look at the logic and flow of the database To, to test and verify that um, we have generated the database um, with the de desired um, logic. 
and flow that we had wanted. So what we have to do, we have to add those items to the, di to the, di the diagram. Um, what I'd like to do is kind of organize it so it's easy to f has an easy flow. And just as what I had said earlier, if you notice, items is a central table, and a user a user profile can have multiple items. So, um, rule of thumb is that the one that for one to many relationship, the the side that has that gives the primary key um, that is a one and the one that receives it is the many so it, so you can see there that user profile um, ID is inside of the items table which signifies that a user can have multiple um, items so in the next part of the series we are going to create the node.js express JS. Um, API to connect to the database and move forward with the web and mobile portion of the tutorial series. Please join me and please like and subscribe. Please hit the notification bell and I look forward to having you along the journey. Thank you.